Following a series of floods and mudslides that claimed the lives of more than 100 people back in April 2010, Rio will announce a significant overhaul of its city operations, a big step in improving services for citizens, and a big step towards becoming a smarter city in advance of the World Cup in 2014 and the Summer Olympics in 2016. The city is collaborating with IBM on a multi-million dollar plan, including a city operations center that will include meteorologists, engineers, crisis response personnel, operators, and commanders, led by a newly appointed chief operations officer. Working together, this team will dramatically improve emergency responsiveness. Here's how it works. This new operations system is built to provide the commander and incident responders with a single unified view of all the information that they require for situational awareness. From the base yellow alert level, where the city and surroundings are making preparations, through the red alert standby phase, through the full response involving the multiple agencies that participate, including state and national assistance when needed. The commander's view provides a summary of everything happening around the city on the video wall, including surveillance cameras, maps, simulations, news updates, resources, and information about incidents. The commander has access to comprehensive information about rainfall estimates, wind speed and direction, and probabilities of landslides from multiple sources of information about the upcoming weather event. Up to 48 hours in advance of a big storm, the incident commander will be viewing weather maps, 3D modeling of approaching storm intensity and path, and estimates of potential impact on local areas. At the yellow level of alert, the crisis team is paying attention, monitoring the situation, and evaluating risks from the big storm. The level turns to red as the storm arrives. The operations center is coordinating the activities of multiple agencies to mobilize response teams, deploy equipment to the right positions beforehand, ensure vehicles are filled with fuel, and prepare supplies for shelters. If visuals from an incident location are needed, the operator can access the cameras available in a particular area. Or, to dispatch ambulances, the operator might need the location of all hospitals near the incident. Detailed information about the hospital, including specialties, bed availability, and how to contact the hospital, can help the dispatcher decide where is the best place to send injured people. Once the storm hits, the alert level is raised to black, and all the response teams spring into action, responding according to the agency's plans and coordinated from this operations center. After the incident is over and the agencies return to the green level, there is still work to be done. Cleaning up, evaluating damage, lessons learned, and paying the bills. This is just the start to support emergency operations by coordinating city functions across city agencies. Eventually, the mayor foresees a city operations center that will be able to integrate the processes and data for most other city systems, such as transportation, public works, and utilities.